Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and today we're going to look at implementing different color headers based on the environment that we're in. Now, some of you will know that the model-driven apps have different colors that you can implement using themes. Um, so your dev environment can look different from your test environment and will look different from your production environment. And the reason why you want to do this is so that you know exactly which app you're currently testing. So you can do the same thing with Canvas apps with environment variables. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is create a new environment variable, and we're going to call it header color. And in header color, what we'll do is use the data type of text, and we will store our dev color code for our header. And usually it should be a different color palette than, you know, what you have in your production environment. So something that's really noticeable, it doesn't match your, your organization's um, color scheme. So we'll enter that here. And then once that's added, we'll open up our app and take a look at retrieving this environment variable and link it to the header banner that we have at the top of our app. Now, Two tables that you will need to bring in your environment variables are, of course, your environment variable values and environment uh, variable definitions. So we'll go to the on start, and what we will do here is currently this is where we've hard coded the production color code. So instead, what we're going to do is actually retrieve the environment variable that contains our header color. So if we go in and we'll go to the definition and we'll go to the schema name and we will enter in lcgco underscore header color and we'll bring in the value. So this will bring that, um, you know, the C90625 value that we have, so the hexadecimal value for our color code into color header. And what we could do is instead replace this here. So we're bringing in, instead of this hard-coded value, we're bringing in the global variable. So now that you'll see that it's currently black because we just changed our on start. So what we could do is click run on start. And now you will see that it's currently that yellow color that I chose for the header. So what we can do now is actually save this and publish it and bring it over to our production environment. So when I, we have our production environment, what we're going to do is actually switch that current value around to our production uh, color instead. So here we'll go and bring in our theme. We'll export it. So it's ready to download. And then we'll go into our other environment, our production environment here. We got the banner theme and we'll import. And once it's finished importing, we will go and change that environment variable from that, um, that yellow hexadecimal code to our production. So here the banner theme has been imported. So if we go to that environment variable now, you will see the current value is this yellow color code there. And we'll switch it to our other value and we'll click save. So now if we go into our app and I click play, you will now see that the value or the color is actually different than the previous. So this is the best way to handle different uh, 
headers um, for different colors at the top, just because you want to know when you're in your dev environment, test environment, or production, so you don't inadvertently enter in test data in your production environment. So this is the quick way to do it, so you don't have to hard code anything in your app, and allows you a lot of flexibility to change the color codes as needed um, using environment variables.